Tim Hector was a leading Caribbean intellectual who, through his weekly newspaper outlet, was considered the conscience of his island's rulers for 30 years. Hector played many roles, philosopher, educator, literary and music critic, cricket administrator and political activist. Born in St. John's City, he loved cricket and music, but politics was his lifeblood. Hector belonged to the 1960s generation of Caribbean radicals who confronted the post-colonial order. As a child, he was called Tim by his grandfather after the Russian Second War General Timoshenko. Educated at the Antigua Grammar School, he later became one of its youngest ever teachers. Hector later won a scholarship to study at McGill University, Montreal. On his return home in 1967, he became involved in politics, becoming chairman of the Progressive Labour Movement and an executive member of the Public Service Association and Antigua's Workers' Union. But he soon drifted from the PLM to form the Antigua Caribbean Liberation Movement, initially a radical pressure group and later a political party. He recruited bright young people and developed relationships with similar organizations in the region and with Cuba and Libya. A protege of CLR James, he was intent on introducing a new order in Antigua and the Caribbean. In later years, he moved towards the traditional center of Antiguan politics and joined the opposition leader, Baldwin Spencer, in 1992 to form the United Progressive Party. Though never elected to parliament, he was appointed a senator in 1994. Tim Hector, however, had a very good relationship with Lester Byrd, a childhood friend. Hector was reportedly an unpaid advisor to the former prime minister. His first wife, Era, with whom he had three sons, was murdered in 1989. He is survived by his second wife, Jennifer, and his sons and stepchildren. Tim Hector died at 59 after open heart surgery. Using the print medium he called outlet, Mr. Hector laboriously fanned the flame that illuminated multiple diverse and definitely controversial perspectives on topics from agriculture to Zambia. In celebration of the timeless output of the late Leonard Tim Hector, whose prolific pen and proclamations became a recurrent staple in the socio-cultural and political lives of Antiguans until his death in November of 2002.